We all know that episode 15 and 16 story mode is too easy. Which is why today, I decided to make the game harder. And we will see if you can beat both episode 15 and 16 with only one cookie per level. Let's begin. So we're starting out at 15-1. And typically, we choose Cotton Cookie to solo a level. Cotton Cookie heals, deals a lot of damage, and her sheep can tank hits. However, I soon realized that episode 15 is quite different from the previous episodes. Cotton Sheep actually struggles a lot because the enemies inflict a debuff that makes them fall asleep and immobilizes them. And although Cotton Cookie is able to solo the level, I knew there must be a stronger option. Going into 15-2, I decided to replace Cotton with Cream Puff. The sleeping debuff completely shuts down all summon units, however Cream Puff doesn't have to deal with this. But then, I ran into a problem. As you can see right here, Cream Puff falls asleep and then takes a ton of damage when she wakes up. There's this new debuff called Beckoning Dreams that's passive and deals massive damage to your cookies whenever they fall asleep. And this debuff is actually extremely deadly. So, although Cream Puff was able to solo the level, what if there's a cookie that's immune to this debuff? And here comes Milky Way and Moonlight, the only two cookies immune to this debuff. We now head into 15-3 and I decided to use Milky Way first because she's tanky, she heals herself and does good damage. And although she can beat the level, she's just so slow at doing so, like this took forever, I'm not gonna use her anymore. That's it, I'm bringing out Moonlight, I'm just gonna destroy everything now. Everyone in 15-4, complete joke. Everyone in 15-5, tombstoned. Everyone in 15-6, one shot. All levels up to 15-16 is a massacre. But now, it's time to fight the first boss. Will Moonlight be able to beat 15-17 all alone? And this is a very intense boss fight. As you see, Moonlight does decent damage, but then, um, the boss kinda gets 4 shot. This is a terrible level. So I proceeded to wipe out levels 15, 19 through 15, 29. This was all on a livestream, by the way. But now we're at 15, 30. Will the final boss of this episode actually be difficult? Well, no, cause the boss got 3 shot and it was actually easier than the previous one. Welp. In conclusion, you can solo episode 15 with one single cookie, yay. And now, it's time to move on to episode 16. Will 16-1 be an actual challenge for Moonlight? The answer is no. Everyone just gets one shot again. Stages 16-1 through 16-9 were easy. However, stage 16-10 was a completely different story. At first, it seems like a normal level, everything gets one shot. However, this mini boss shows up. At first, it seems like a normal mini boss until this HP shield forms around it, and it's completely indestructible. And, um, yeah. We're gonna use a paper charm because it breaks a shield. During the boss fight, we can use Moonlight's first skill normally. However, right after we cast Moonlight's second skill, we gotta use a paper charm right away so then her attack actually hits the boss and it dies. Levels 1611 through 1613 were also pretty easy, however 1614 would be the hardest level yet. The mini boss of this level has 20 shields, that's right 20 shields, and each shield takes multiple hits to break. Damage is completely irrelevant when it comes to this shield because this shield is based on the number of hits you deal to the enemy and not the damage. And it takes 200 hits to break this shield. And the paper charm doesn't work on it. And of course, Moonlight wasn't able to beat the level because he didn't deal enough hits to the shield. So I actually tested different cookies, toppings, and treasures for a whole hour to beat this level. I'm not gonna show every single attempt because this video would be like 20 minutes long. Squid Ink doesn't work for this level because he's a bit too squishy and dies. Cotton's actually one of the best candidates for this level but she wasn't able to break the shield in time. I tried Clotted Cream, Crunchy Chip, Oyster, and literally almost everyone else and they all failed. Except for one. Licorice Cookie. You see, Licorice does both an Afogato-like poison attack and his summons also deal hits and this is enough to actually kill the boss. Licorice actually does more hits than Cotton so that's why he works. And you also need almost 50% damage resist. 
Thankfully, 1615 was super easy, but now it's time for 1616. 15 minutes later. Here comes the boss. We get one attack in and... Wow, I guess I can't even use any auto attacks. Wow, this is so fair. Wow, look at that crowd control. Let's use Moonlight skill and it does nothing because the HP shield the boss has and the treasure can't even dispel it. And when the shield wears off, oh wow, the boss is fully healed all of a sudden. And it looks like you can't use any cookie that's not immune to the sleeping debuff because they die instantly. You also can't one-shot the boss either before the shield goes up. So the boss is completely immune to debuffs and it regenerates HP even while it shields up. I give up. So it looks like you can't solo episode 16 with one cookie. Although you can't solo 16-16, what about all the other levels? Well, 16-17 was pretty easy. However, 1618 has another one of those mini bosses with a ton of shields, just like the boss in 1614. However, this boss regenerates its HP shield like, oh come on. This boss also does damage that's proportional to max HP. This attack can kill anyone, including Moonlight. Oh, and Licorice doesn't work, so I give up again. So it looks like 1618 is another level you can't solo with one cookie. However, stages 1619 through 1629 were all very easy. But now, it's time to see if you can beat the final boss with only one cookie. This level is difficult enough where you cannot use auto and still win. If you use auto, you die. This is because the boss does an attack called Supernova Explosion, and this does damage proportional to max HP. To completely avoid this attack, we need to time Moonlight Cookie's skill so she dodges this attack. As you can see right here, Moonlight Cookie actually dodges the gigantic explosion and takes no damage from it. We don't need to worry about any of the other boss's attacks because they're all very weak except for that one explosion. So, Moonlight dodges the explosion again, and a second time, a third time, and a fourth time. Here's a finishing blow, and the boss is dead. And that's how you beat the final boss with one cookie. In conclusion, one cookie can solo all but two levels in episode 15 and 16. And don't forget to subscribe, cause I'm poor. And also, I kinda wasted all my gold on toppings for this video, so yeah. And here's a bunch of explosions, cause why not? It's not sea fairy, it's sea farty.